Hello and welcome to another episode of Zolf Talks. Today I'm going to be talking to you about why I stopped using my action camera as a streaming webcam. So you may be familiar with my channel. I've made loads of videos about how I get the most from my action camera. You'll see there's some here with over 30,000 views where I'm basically showing you how to use a cheap action camera as a webcam for live streaming. I've done various tests on it and over the years it's been great. So it has been something that it's allowed me to get additional kind of angles and it's very cheap and very easy to set up. So that's benefits of it, but why did I stop using it? So in this video, I'm basically going to explain the reasoning behind why I don't use it anymore and what I've moved on to. So there's a few things that I'll cover, things like the quality of it, the syncing of audio if you're live streaming, because you will need to have uh, audio separately, uh, issues with the cables, upgrades and the budget and the alternatives. So what I think I'll cover is if I tell you why I used an action camera to start off with. So going back to about two years, I picked up this cheap uh, action camera and this action camera was a 1080p action camera. And it's very tight in this case for some reason. So what I did with that is I started playing about with it and I noticed that if you put a micro USB cable in there, it actually showed a PC cam option, which is a, a webcam. So I plugged it into my computer and the idea was going to be to use it as a webcam for live sessions. Then I figured out, actually, you know what, I can get a couple of these and it works out quite cheap because the action cameras were about between 10 and 20 pounds in the UK. So if you picked up three cameras, you could probably get a deal and get them under 50 pounds um, or even 40 pounds, depending on the cables and stuff. So you could have three camera angles set up. But the issue that you will face is if you use it in a program, because you'll, if you want to have multiple angles, you're going to have to use a program uh, such as OBS, Open Broadcast Studio. So that basically allows you to make different scenes and you can select different cameras. So you can flip between cameras, like for example, there's an up down, top down view. I've got my wide view and it kind of gives you multiple. I'm using the F keys here, so F1, F2 and F3 is different camera angles. So I'm using the same program, but my quality of the camera has improved now. So you can see stuff like what I'm using up here is actually, if I bring you to the wide view here, you'll see it's just a camera on a little piece of wood. And it's kind of like a makeshift idea, but it does what it needs to do. So this is mainly about why I stopped using action cameras as webcams. So the first thing I noticed was the quality was not good. So depending on the camera you get, if that's the only thing you've got, then it's fine, use it. But if you've got options to use other cameras you have got and get the best quality, then why not go sideways? So I have a DSLR camera. Canon released a free tool that allows you to use that camera as a, a webcam. And that was my main push towards getting something better quality like this, which it looks a lot more pleasing to the eye. The quality is a bit better um, versus my action camera. What also happens on the action camera, if you plug it in and you put it somewhere, after a little while, I noticed it was freezing. So if the cable moved slightly or something else moved, then the camera would reset and it will freeze. So you'll have to kind of go away from the camera. So you'll have to kind of do that and then come back to the screen again and then it will reactivate. Um, and the quality was very low. If you have lights, then it's actually quite good. But if you don't have lights, then the quality is not excellent at all. Uh, for streaming, it would be fine if you're doing 720, 1080. Uh, the sync issues. So what I noticed was when I put it into the computer and set it up to give me a 1080p feed, so how big the picture was, the audio was not synced to the video, so it was a bit laggy. So I had to manually go into the OBS software and add in a little bit of a, a delay to make my audio sync. But then I noticed if I had two action cameras, one would be slightly out and one wouldn't be slightly out. If you go back on my like two years ago videos, you'll see what I mean. The video audio is like kind of a bit off and it's not really good, but it's part of the journey. So we've kind of learned, well, I've learned from that and slowly moved on to get better things that make it a bit more pleasing for you to hear and use um, upgrades. So I upgraded to a webcam. 
so the cable issue stopped so i got a cheap webcam which already has a cable plugged in so that did quite well for a little while but again the quality wasn't excellent on the webcam unless you go into logitech c920 i think it is or something but they're quite expensive so i didn't want to go down the route of getting something really expensive i had cameras so i used the cameras i already had uh, budget is going to be a big thing do you want to spend a bit of money on it and then it's fine buy a fancy webcam uh, alternatives so i quickly found that i could use my dslr as a webcam i did a full video about that canon eos webcam utility tool and explained that and that's gone down very well people have liked that hdmi capture cards so using an old camcorder and using the hdmi out and the lead and then using that which is a lot better quality than something with a small sensor like that and also the hdmi uh, camcorders you can actually position them around and have multiple angles like i've got one up here and i've got one over there so it kind of gives you an extra element and once you're streaming or recording a long video you don't have to worry about anything because they are designed to be running for a long period of time i plug in the power cable and it just goes on and on and um, so that's why i stopped using action cameras mainly because the quality i've come to like the quality i like now isn't like the action camera quality also the audio is a big improvement as well that's a different video but you want to get decent audio so when you're speaking that it sounds nice it sounds clear it might be a bit too over the top but i also do podcasting so i do need a nice setup sometimes the mic's in shot but that's something else so why i stopped using action cameras for live streaming is because of the quality and the reliability now that I do longer live streams, I want something that's a bit better. And that's why I use a DSLR with a webcam tool. If you have a Canon, make sure to check that out. I'll link you to a video about live streaming and how I make the best of my live stream. I'll see you on one of these videos.